Crafting the basic pattern for children's wear. Tools and materials needed. L square, hip curve, ruler, French curve, tape measure, pencil, and pattern paper. And now, here are the steps in drafting the basic pattern for children's wear. In drafting pattern, it is better to use pencil, but in this demonstration, I'll be using a marker in place of pencil for you to see it clearly, okay? In one fourth pattern paper, folded in the center, draw a construction line with the use of L square. Turn the L square to another side. And now your construction line is like a big letter T. Here are the measurements needed according to the sequence in the procedure. Armhole, it is divided by 2. So in my example, it is 12. So it is 6 inches. Back figure, 11 inches. Shoulder, divided by 2. Example is 9 inches, so it is 4 and 1 half. Chest with back is divided into 2. So the measurement example is 8 and a half. So it is 4 and 1 fourth. Bus circumference is divided into 4 and for example is 24 inches so it would be 6 inches. Waist circumference is four, divided by 4 so 21 and a half is 5 and 3 eight. Now just in case you are having a hard time in getting the 1 fourth of a measure, you can fold your tape measure. Fold the tape measure into half. Example, the measurement is 21 and a half. Fold the tape measure in half and you will get the half of the measurement. And then from that half, fold again and that would be the one fourth measurement of 21 and one half. So that is 5 and 3 eight. Okay. Okay, now let's continue. In this corner, mark 8.A. And then from A, measure 1 half inch. Point B. A to C is 3 and a half inches. And that is point C. Then A to D is one half of armhole. So in my example, 12, so it is 6 inches. That is point D. Now A to E is back figure measurement. So it is 11 inches and mark it point E. Now extend point C, D, and E. Make sure that these lines are parallel. Line C is for the chest measurement. Line D is for the bust measurement. And line E is for the waist measurement. This side is for the back pattern and the other side is for the front pattern. So now we will proceed in making the back pattern. So A to F is two and a half inches. And that is point F. Connect F to B with French curve. Now, A to G is one half of shoulder. So, in our example, it is 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. This is the four and a half and mark it point G. And from point G, measure three fourth inch downward. And this is point H. Now connect F and H with ruler. And now C to I is one half of chest with back. So eight and a half divided by two is four and one fourth. 
So this is the 4 and 1 fourth. And then mark it point I. Now D to H is 1 fourth of bus circumference. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. Point J. Now connect points H, I, and J with French curve. Position the French curve hitting points H, I, and J. Now E to K is waist circumference divided by 4. So 21 and a half divided by 4 is 5 and 3 8. Okay, so this is 5 and 3 8. Point K. Now connect J and K with ruler. Now from K, measure 1 fourth inch upward. So I cannot see the 1 fourth in the tape measure because of this metal. So I am going to measure from this line. So this is the 1 fourth of an inch. So this is point L and connect L to E with slight curve. This is now the back pattern for children's work. And now in drafting the front pattern, I will use red marker and indicate the points by using number. We will also need to list down the measurement needed for front pattern. These are also the measurement needed except for back will be the front figure and the chest width will be the for the front. It so happened that uh, the back and the front is the same measure. It is usually happened in children's wear because their bust is not yet developed. And for the chest width, it so happened that the front and back chest of the mannequin are the same measure. Now let's continue. A to 1 is 2 and a half inches. That is point 1. A to 2 is the same measure with A to F. So the measurement is 2 and a half. So therefore, the measurement from A to 2 is also 2 and a half. Mark it point 2 and then connect. 2 and 1 with French curve. A to 3 is 1 half of shoulder width, so 4 and 1 half. So it is the same measure with A to G, 4 and a half. This is point 3. Just the same with G to H, so 3 to 4 is also 3 fourth inch. Connect 2 and 4 with ruler. C to 5 is 1 half of chest width front, so it is 4 and 1 fourth. Now, D to 6 is 1 fourth of bus circumference. So it is 6 inches. Now connect points 4, 5, and 6 with the use of French curve. E to 7 is 1 fourth of waist circumference, so it is 5 and 3 8. Point 7. Connect 6 and 7 with ruler. 7 to 8 is also 1 fourth of an inch. Mark it point 8. And then connect A to 8 with slight curve. 
And now we are done with the basic back and front bodies pattern. When you cut it, it will look like this. Now you can draft your own pattern. Enjoy drafting!